What is going on Adventure Nation? Today we're gonna get our cave on. This is the motorhome experiment. We are just south of Louisville, Kentucky, actually just south of Elizabethtown, Kentucky, and we are in the Mammoth Cave National Park. And we met up with some old friends of ours. Look at this. You'll recognize them from the video in London. And Steve and Diana have joined us here at Mammoth Cave. They were on their way to Nashville. We found out we we're in the area, so we all decided to stop here together and do a little hiking, do a little caving. We have no idea what to expect, but we think it's gonna be really cool. Mammoth Cave is supposed to be one of the largest cave systems in the world with like 650 miles of trails down inside the earth, so should be kind of cool. Yeah, we're not gonna do the 600 miles though. We're not gonna do all 600 miles. Well, not today anyways. We're gonna have to hold off on a little bit of that. We might do a couple miles. We are actually in the Mammoth Cave Campground, which is a national park campground. No hookups uh, available. There's actually two sites with hookups available. It was $50 a night for, the, for those two sites. We're staying in no hookups, 20 bucks a night, which is such a great deal. And we're within walking distance of the visitor center, which is nice. So we're just and heading over there now. Scenery. Oh yeah, the scenery. Beautiful. The scenery is horrible. Check it out. Again, to go from the campground that we just went to in Louisville to this is why we do this every now and then because it kind of gives you this relaxing feeling after being jam-packed with, with other RVers. Deer are out this morning. Huh? We are going to start off today with the historic tour, which, entitle, which entails we have no idea. And then we're going to go later on this afternoon onto the Gothic tour, which is going to be a little bit different part of the tunnels. But we, are, no, we're gonna, we do know we're going to be going into tunnels today and caves and stuff, which should be cool. And we're going to learn a little bit of the history, I'm assuming, on the historic tour. Correct? Sure. She's supposed to read all the brochures. You know that's, that's her job. All right, Lori, here we go on the history tour. The park ranger just basically scared the living hell out of everyone, telling her everybody how dangerous it was and that you shouldn't come on this tour yeah, if you just, have any health problems. Yeah, or so, mobility problems. Or mobility. Or you're uh, claustrophobic. So as far as wheelchair, handicap accessible, no, this tour is not. Yeah, she said we're gonna be on our knees, going through passages and stuff like that. <laughs> That's awesome. Just in case anything's dangerous, we're letting Steve and Diana go in front of us. You were saying, Lori? This is pretty amazing right here. Claustrophobic for sure. Yeah. This will this will test your claustrophobia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, holy smokes, that's awesome. We lose Steve and Diana. No, they're still there. Okay. We're in. We're coming. <laughs> that was cool. It's 
So this is yeah. the area they had warned us about. We're entering Fat Man's Misery. <laughs> We're used to this kind of spaces. Spaces. It's kind of like a more home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Living in the RV. I yeah. saw that from Steve. <laughs> Stolen from Steve and Diana. It's not much to film in here. It's kind of dark, but it's a. It is a pretty narrow area here, as you can see. You have to go sideways. Yeah. Here it can stand. Is it close to it? Something grab it. How cool is this, right? It is cool. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, here, here we're coming to the pitch where we have to go up. Up and over. Alright, here we go. Up into the up into the space where we have to uh, do a little bit of crawling here. Are you filming my butt, Paul? I'm filming your butt, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> you can't help it it's blocking the light. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a choice. <laughs> nice. This section here is where we're climbing 155 stairs to the top. And that right there is a waterfall without a river. Kind of cool. Steve, Diana, what did you think of the historic oh, tour awesome. of the it was cave? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Recommend it to anybody. Very cool. Yeah, Lori, sure. thumbs up? Yeah. Couple yeah, thumbs up? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of thumbs up there from that one. Definitely have to be fit to do this. Yeah, you want to be trail. somewhat fit, right? Yeah. But, uh, and not claustrophobic. And not claustrophobic <laughs> for sure. If you're claustrophobic at all, don't recommend this one. And we're back to the top. <sighs> That was some uh, that was some hiking. It's two miles total, so that was a lot of walking, a lot of stairs. Now we're loading the bus and we're gonna do the domes and dripstones tour. How are you doing today, sir? I feel like in school again. Yeah, when's the last time you were on a school bus? <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, we are going into a bunker and uh, Autumn, Autumn just closed the door and I think we're all goners. We'll never see the top again. Hey, Lorena. What? So, so crazy. This is... See, I wasn't the only one that thought of that. I felt for it. He just did what I did in the last one. <laughs> oh, that's perfect because of the way it's lit up. one there, there's one there. Those are called cave crickets. They are evil looking. Right there too. Okay, that's enough and then they're everywhere. <laughs> these are all these cave crickets. 
Holy smokes. I am going to have... running. Yeah, no, no, no. No, Lori, Lori, <laughs> push it. Lori, Lori, don't stop me from getting out of here, Lori. That's so not nice. <laughs> Did you see how evil Lori is trying to stop me in the cave cricket hell? <laughs> So not nice. I'm gonna film your butt now. <laughs> Those cave cricket things are horrifying. I'm gonna have a hard time sleeping tonight. I'm going to see cave crickets in my sleep. <laughs> Only jumping at you. Yes, been jumping at me, crawling down my neck. There you go. Steve had to put on his hoodie because the cave crickets. Yeah, there you go. That protects you from cave crickets yes. and werewolves. <laughs> Propane bus. Nice. All right, guys. Everybody on the bus. Let me drive. We are all done with the domes and dripstones tour, and it was super cool. Two thumbs up again. Very, very cool. Now, if you guys were to say what was your favorite between the two, history or the oh, domes and dripstones? They're so different, though. Yeah. I like the domes. They're very, very domes. different. Yeah. Very, very but different. If Pick one. If I one. put a gun to your head, Lorena, and I said <laughs> you can only choose one, which would you In do? In that hypothetical scenario. I In that hypothetical scenario. The domes. The domes, because it the has real the scenario, formations. I will kick your ass. Oh, first, wow. And then choose them again. She's so feisty. <laughs> you put a hypothetical gun in my head. But you so, could. hypothetically, you would kick my butt? Yes. All right, cool. That I can, that I can handle. <laughs> now we're heading back over to the visitor center again and check out some of the displays and things inside that are going to explain a little bit more about what's going on here at Mammoth Cave. This thing here is kind of cool. Is that an engine? It is. It's the engine. That's weird. That is an engine. That's cool. It's got to be steam, yeah? This engine here is engine number four, and these little locomotives used to pull passenger cars up from Glasgow up here to Mammoth Cave. And they said that they were very powerful for what they were and could pull these little cars up here, but they had trouble sometimes making up the hills when local boys would soap the rails. Mischievous little devils. Oh, you're stepping on poop. No, <laughs> I'm not. Can't just throw you off your game. Okay. We're kind of like oh God, just woke up this morning yeah she doesn't want me to record we're saying goodbye to our friends Bye. Bye. they're heading down the road to Nashville and we're gonna catch up with them here in a couple of days <laughs> camera Lori check it out wow. <laughs> wow. We, have, we all have morning face bye guys yeah. <laughs> and we are day two here at Mammoth Cave National Park and as you can see the weather has changed a little bit check this out we're even in, I'm in shorts so we went from having 40 five degree days just north of here in Louisville to 70 today which we're both pretty happy so nice. about yeah and it's been raining for the past couple of days no rain in the forecast today I don't think and it's gonna be a beautiful day for a hike so let's hiking. roll <laughs> campground is beautiful as you can see it's packed no there's nobody here actually <laughs> they've got most of the campground is shut down there's just a couple sections open, and for the most part, it's empty. Okay, we will say that the trail is not really well marked. But I think we're off trail. And we think we're kind of off trail, but it's hard to tell because of all the leaves and everything where we are. We think this is a road that goes down to the parking lot, so we're going to do that, see what happens. Oh, there is a deer. We can ask directions. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I don't know if you guys can see the the deer on the road up ahead there. there two of them. Two of them up there, yep. Yeah. Just standing in the middle of the road. The road sign guys are comedians. <laughs> Congested area? Look at this. Nobody around. I don't know about that one. They have all kinds of awesome signage out here. Road ends in the water? This is gonna be interesting. Check this out. There's actually a ferry to go across to the other side. This is pretty crazy down here. 
see the cars driving on there's actually cables going up to the side and so this thing runs on a cable down this side and a cable down that side they load the cars up and then across they come that is pretty cool and they come over here That is pretty cool. Yes, Lorena, this is my fault that we're having to backtrack. We can use the exercise. I admit it. We shouldn't have come down here. <laughs> it is beautiful, though. You got to see deer. Deer in a ferry. Yeah. It is extremely beautiful out here and because of the fall leaves falling the trails are very hard to distinguish from one area to the other the signage out here is is horrible and we don't know if we're going in the right direction still now so we're just gonna walk for a little bit and see if we can recognize anything and find any more signage we know we're on a trail. We don't know what trail this one is. Yeah. So, we might wind up back where we just were on the road, just walking through the woods. So Lorena was just telling me that she wore these pants so that she wouldn't get ticks. Just in case there's ticks. Just in case there's ticks. And what'd she tell me to wear? Shorts. She told me to wear shorts. What is up with that? Are ticks seasonal? Because they're really cold. I think they're seasonal. I can't believe you're wanting me to get ticked, ticked off. Ha! So we did determine that we're not going in the right direction. Like this sign here, for example, says campground and it's pointing up that way. And there's like somewhat of what might be a trail there, but we know that's not the trail because we came down from there and that's the campground. So I'm assuming that this is supposed to be ugh, like this but who knows we're trying to find what the sinkhole, sinkhole and white's cave because the echo trail is closed that's why we have been lost because it's closed so we worked our way back over to the visitor center and now we're going to head out on a different trail to try and find our way over to the other trail that we wanted to go to and again there's no signage, they just said it's over by the historic cave entrance. We're heading that way now. Well, it's not that the signage is horrible. It's just non-existent. <laughs> yes, I agree with you. Now, this particular trail is handicap accessible and it's supposed to be one of the best trails here to hike. The other one that we want to go to is going to be less accessible, but it's also more through the woods and things like that. But this one here so far is really pretty cool, and it's just off of the visitor center. Yeah, the historic trail. So yeah, you're heading, you head towards the historic entrance, and then you just stay straight where the signs don't tell you to go, but it's a cement path, and then it leads you here to this wooden path here and we'll show you some more of it here in just a second so here we finally have signage that tells you from the visitor center area trails where they are and where they're supposed to go the problem isn't this signage it's once you get out onto the trails like today we were out here on this area and wound up over here somehow because there's nowhere that tells you to make this yeah. turn and this is where we wanted to go is up in here and see White's Cave. See, we went up here and we we're gonna retake the trail back because we actually came down here and all this is closed for construction. So we have to came down the road again, go through the woods to be able to get back on this trail and back again. Yeah, so. Yes. <laughs> but we're here again. Yes.
We had a quick snack while overlooking Sunset Point. Very cool. Very and nice view. the views were awesome. And uh, now we're going to go try and find this other trail. It <laughs> somewhat takes us back over towards the campground and hopefully not get lost in the woods this time. <laughs> Heritage Trail, which is what we're on. Mammoth Dome Sink Trail. That's what we want. That's what we want? Yeah. Yeah, that's what oh, we yeah, want. The sink trail, yeah. Yep, found it finally. All right. So there's a sign from here. Let's see if we can find the other parts of the trail. So the whole goal was to come up here. Yes. That was our initial goal, is to come up this way. See, that's not so hard, is it? So we've made it to Mammoth Dome Sink. Here's a little bit of information about that if you want to read that. And here's kind of what it looks like. You can see the sinkhole is off the side of the dome. Let's go down and check out the sinkhole. So you can see the sinkhole right here is the Mammoth Cave, Mammoth Dome Sink. And back in the day, the guys that were trying to find alternate entrances to the cave, other than the historic entrance, they would find sinkholes like this and they would blast them, they would dynamite them, and try to find another entrance to the cave so that they could have their own entrance and then uh, make money from that. So are you ready to continue and try and find the rest of this trail? Yes, I'm just happy to know we're in the right track. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so finally we've got more signage. We see Echo River there, which we say here, see there, says no access to Echo River Spring. We found that out because we tried to come from the other side. And then here is Mammoth Dome Sink, White's Cave, and Echo River. So there is signage from this side, Lori, just not signage to get back. Well, from the other side, you want to do the loop from the campground? No signage. But no from signage. The visitor center, there is signage. Yes. So, Lori, other than the Game of Thrones, you know the other theme music that I feel like we should be humming out here? No. Deliverance. <laughs> no. Well, I don't know if that's really the theme song for Deliverance, but yeah, it is the one that everyone recognizes from there. Dueling banjos. But yeah, I don't hear any banjos it's out here. Beautiful woods. And we made it back up to the trail. And it happens to be the one that we were at earlier this morning with the goofy campground sign. We just didn't see anything on this sign about the visitor center or anything. Or and yet that's sinkhole. where the visitor center goes. Well, this, we were looking for the sinkhole trail. White's doesn't, cave. And does it say anything like that. Use this Echo River Trail. And that one we knew was closed because when we got lost. Yep. That's why we didn't go that way. So, we could have just went that way earlier and saved ourselves a whole lot of walking. But it doesn't say anything about visitor center. So, now you know, in case you come out this way. Not handicap accessible, these trails out here where we were, where we were. Only the one where Sunset Point is back at the visitor center. So, but this is a pretty decent hike through some pretty beautiful area. Pretty good hike, Lorena. It was, with the detour that we did, I think that was kind of like, yeah. I don't know, I don't even know how long it was. I don't know, it was a 40, 60 miles, something like that. No, probably not. Probably closer to four, four to six miles, something like that. Maybe a little longer, but great hike. Very pretty, very pretty. So 
time to grab some food, maybe have a little fire, get some work done, and then we'll head out in the morning. I think so. It's Ozzy out playing with a the deer. They're literally out by adding, look at the deer. That's hilarious. The deer was afraid of Ozzy, that's what is funny. Well, before we go, let's rate the cave system, otherwise we're gonna forget. Tomorrow. Yeah. So we did the caves, the two tours we did, it was a historic tour and the Dumps and Dripstones tour. Totally worth it. If you only have to do, well, if you only have to do two because I have like five of them, I would say these two are the best ones. And yeah. even the Rangers told us that. If you only have to do one, I will go with the Dumps and Dripstones. Dumps and Dripstones. Yeah, I will go with that one. Uh, but. Make sure to make the time to do both of them. Uh, you can make them uh, probably in half day. And the hiking, it's optional. Obviously, it's beautiful woods like you just saw. Mm -hmm. I will rate it as a day trip. I, and I will agree with that. I, I would say a day trip. If, if you're going to be in Nashville or maybe even Louisville to, yeah, to make, make your way here. Make it over here because, I mean, it's just so massive, the cave. It's just so cool to see it. I would plan on spending a couple of days here, though. A, a day trip, I, I don't know if I would just come out here for the day and leave. It's going to be something that I would do over the course of a couple of days. But that was at least a day trip. Paul was saying, like, maybe if in the area, but I think you should make it here. Like, if you're around here, close to here. it's. We love the fact that we were in caves where you can barely fit and you have to squeeze in to go through the cave. We love that kind of stuff. If you are a very large person, it is going to be uncomfortable in some yes. of these areas. Uh, there's an area called Fat Man's Misery, and it is definitely that. Uh, there were some larger people in our group that were carrying backpacks. Why you would carry a backpack down there, I don't know. Very, very tough and tight to get through there. You're banging up against the walls and getting stuck mm -hmm. in the in the areas. But, but the hiking was amazing. The caves are insane. They're really, really cool. A completely different experience than, say, Carlsbad Cavern. Mm -hmm. So definitely worth the trip. Love Mammoth, Nas Mammoth Cave National Park. Love it. Perfect. So if this is your first time here, it would be awesome if you subscribe to our channel, stay up to date on all of our travels, and it would be equally as cool if you liked the video. We'll see you again soon in another one. Bye, guys. Bye now. Let's go in, and I'm sweating like a yeah. stuck pig. Let's have some food. Yeah. So we're done with the domes and drip tour. What was that called? Domes, domes and drip stones? Drips. Something like that. <laughs> was it domes and drip stones? Or was it domes and drips? No. Domes and... Dripstones. Dripstones, okay. Take two.